Catan Console Edition features various ways for you to play and experience Catan. In this video, we'll explain what each of these are and how to set up games with your friends and family, as well as online games. This video is broken up into chapters, so if you are looking for something specific, please feel free to skip to that section of the video. Let's start off with offline games. In the local game menu, you are presented with two options, Quick Play and Configure Game. Quick Play is a single player experience against three AI competitors that gets you straight into the action. The game takes place on the default board layout, characters are randomly selected, and all initial settlements and roads are placed for you. The location of the initial settlements and roads will always be the same. This is a great way to learn the game and to test your skills when key initial strategic decisions like where to build your initial settlements and roads are taken away from you. Configure Game serves a few purposes. This is where you'd come to set up a local multiplayer game with your friends and family, and you can also set up single player games against the AI. When entering Configure Game, you'll notice your name at the top. This is Player 1, i.e. you. By selecting your name, you can change your character, color, hex frame, and dice skin. You'll also notice the other three players have an image of a microchip next to their name. This is telling you that currently they are AI players. If you want to play against AI, make any other changes you'd like and select Next. If you are playing together with family or friends, from the configure game menu, depending on the number of players you have in the room, toggle them from AI to human players. Each player can change their character, color, frame, dice, and hex frame. If there are three of you, you can choose to either play as a three or include one AI player. A minimum of three players is required. You only need one controller to play, but if you have more, you can use up to four. Once all your players are set up, select Next. From here, you have a few options. If you select Variable Setup, the map will change to random and the 19 terrain tiles and 18 number tokens will be randomly generated. If it is off, you'll play on the default board layout, or if you are a Deluxe Edition owner, you can select one of the five Championship board layouts. Combine Build and Trade Phase When Combine Build and Trade Phase is toggled on, all players can initiate trades throughout their turn at any time. This is the experience most Catanians are familiar with. When Combine Build and Trade Phase is toggled off, on your turn, after you've rolled and the relevant resources have been delivered, you are able to trade. Once trading has been completed, you must finish trading to move on to the building phase of your turn. You cannot trade again on this turn. Enable second screen. When you toggle this option on, a QR code will appear on screen. On your smartphone or tablet, open the camera app focus the camera on the QR code and click the link that appears on screen. When the link is opened, select your character and your resources and development cards will be displayed, keeping them hidden from your opponents. When you are ready, press start. Online Multiplayer In the Online Multiplayer menu, you are presented with two options, Join Public Queue and Join Create Private Game. Join Public Queue will match you against up to three other players online. You will either join another player's lobby or will become the host of a game. When you are the host, other players will be able to join your lobby and you will be responsible for starting the game once everyone has readied up. You'll be presented with a menu that looks just like the configure game screen. After you've chosen your player, color, dice and hex frame, select next to move on to the final stage of the game setup. Here you can decide to toggle on or off variable setup and combine build and trade phase. You'll be able to start the game once all players in the lobby have hit ready and are highlighted green. Only the host can start the game by selecting start. Join create private game is where you can play with your friends online. If you are creating a game or joining a game, the first thing you'll see is a pop up asking you to enter a name. If you are creating a game, this will become the lobby name your friends will use to join. Think of it like a unique password for your lobby. 
From here, the menu is very similar to what you'd see when setting up a local game. That concludes this video on different ways to play Catan Console Edition. For more videos and tips, subscribe to our channel or follow us across our socials at DTG Board Games. See you down the road, Catanians.